Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Westport Independent. The Westport Independent is a censorship simulator about the last weeks on an independent newspaper, which is to be dismantled according to a new government bill. Yes, you play as the editor in charge of choosing what will be printed in the paper, making sure that the content is nice and proper according to the government guidelines. Rebellions against the government rising slowly against the public, whose truth will you print? This is an alpha game, so that means this game is not finished yet, there will be bugs, but I heard it's fun to play. I saw it on Suddenly Ninja's channel, which you, by the way, should check out. He has a great re little review of this game, um, of this alpha. And uh, yeah, link to that. If I don't totally forget it is in the description below and you should check out his channel anyway he does great indie videos like you know he played death cycle which really great game <laughs> uh, we're gonna start a new game we're just gonna jump right into uh, it and uh, loading right up and we're gonna watch the intro message from the loyalist government what is the public culture bill? Comes into force the 16th of May 1969. We'll pr prove the quality of independent media outlets. Guidelines for independent media outlets to follow. Mandatory for independent media outlets to join the Loyalist News and Media Association. What is your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Do not print deceitful content that might harm the appearance of our country. Do not print deceitful, deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the Loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that might harm the appearance of the president. Uh, and that may glorify the acts of rebels and other criminals, uh, strengthens loyalty towards the government, and do not print content that inspires morality um, in the public. That inspires morality in the public. Yeah, don't do that. And do not print content that heart and pro proprietary. Oh, that that heart and proper... <sighs> prop propriety in our society. Sometimes talking is really hard. I promise I'll do better. How do I remove improper content from my paper? First, select an article, drag it onto the desk. Second, read through the article and edit the improper content. And make sure the article's headline is proper as well. All right, finished articles are to be given to your journalists so that they can transcribe them. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that helpful information. Oh, I like the music already. Week zero. Six weeks left until the public culture bill comes into force. By the way, this game is also not finished, so. There's going to be way more stuff in the full version. This is just like a slice. All right, guidelines. Wonderful. Dragon article. Censor and proper content. Okay. Good, 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 good. Expects your cooperation. Hopes you understand the consequences of disobedience. All right. The bars on top right corner illustrate two things. The white bar shows how much the public sympathizes with the rebels. The dark bar shows the loyalist suspicion of you. Remember that while the rebels grow strong when dissatisfaction... Against the government has shown the public steps away from the rebels when they are directly accused of violent acts. To close the book, drag it to place it between the reports and the typewriter. All right, let's do that. Uh, oh, over there. Okay, I didn't. Where's the typewriter? Anyway, that's the people's opinion sent to print. What is that? What? What? What is that? Gimme! Give Gimme! Give it's a little bit like paper, please. So wait. Ah, there you go. Loyal morality and propriety. These are the basis of a civilized society. Well, so possibly. I, I want to read this note. Mr. Edger, Phil has been putting up more loyalist propaganda in the office. You know if I can't stand this shit. Oh, you know I can't stand this shit. So I decided to pull it down. It should be more... Should be on your desk together with this note. Oh, all right. Okay, Frank. All right. Employees. Okay, so we got Julie. Julie is known for having doubtful opinions of the government, went to college and worked already as a freelance writer. Comfort, low opinion, loyalist rebel, and loyalist suspicion trusted. Okay. More for the loyalist. Phil, okay, he's a member of the loyalist party. He is more or less a rebel. Frank, you rebel! And Anne is pretty much in between. All right, let's see what we got. Tutorial Article 1, Censoring. One of the main mechanics is this game to censor articles. You do this by clicking on paragraphs that seem inappropriate. When you censor an article, that content won't be shown to the public, meaning it won't have any effect on them. Nor will it affect the government's suspicion of you. You can also change the headline by clicking on it. Different headlines can change how the article is portrayed. Alright, good. Welcome to the extraordinary and amazing soon-to-be Game of the Year winner at the Westport Independent. I get it. Awesome. Very well. So how do I close this? Oh, just like that. Target Article 2, Employees. 
When you censored an article, it needs to be transcribed to do this, put it in one of the named folders to the bottom right. The employees all have different opinions and they'll be discussing how to run your paper. The employees also have their own lives to protect, so don't blame them if they don't want to follow on to government or rebel hit list. All right, the, this part about the employees. Okay, good. So wait, I, I'm kind of having, oh, I just have to drag it down. Fine. Loyalist government to take harder actions against suspected rebels. Loyalist government to take harder actions against suspected rebels. A new reform has passed that will hasten the arrest of rebel supporters. The reform consists of exceptions in various privacy laws, allowing police to receive search warrants faster. Most of the exceptions apply to ex-criminals with relations to the rebels. However, some of the exceptions are also applied to civilians who has expressed disloyal opinions against the government. All right. We're not going to do we're going to remove that. That that is not good. Um, the reform consists of exceptions in various privacy laws allowing police to receive search warrants faster. I'm not going to say that. We, we want to make sure that they don't know. Just a new reform has passed that will hasten the arrest of rebel supporters. Most of the exceptions apply to ex-criminals with relations to the rebels. And the TED title says loyalist government to take harder actions against suspected rebels. Uh, to attack the privacy of the civilians, loyalist government. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Let's, let's work towards the government. Let's work with them for a bit. And who's going to write that? Ideally a loyalist. Yeah, let's let Phil write that. Yeah, he's going to do that. What else we got? The public culture bill has been passed. The public culture bill that the government presented last year has passed. A new bill has been created to stop the creation and distribution of incorrect and improper content. Ah, uh, we should leave that out. Doesn't sound good for the government. Glory over Stotsky. I feel like paper please again. Can't help it. The bill will force independent media outlets to either shut down or join the new government-funded union called the Loyalist News and Media Association. New bill has passed forces independent media outlets to shut down. I should inform them about that we have to join this, but I shouldn't bash on it. Um, okay, and I think we could give that to our more... What about Anne? Anne is pretty much in the middle, so she'll see. She'll see about that, okay. So how do we print this now? Oh yeah, send to print. You haven't every employee an article to write this week. This will affect the content of your paper. Oh! No. But... Okay... Do I have to... I guess I will have to give them tutorial articles. So... I will just give... Okay, that's, that's fine with me. If I have to give them the article, that's okay. It's interesting to drag everything around. A little bit awkward. Sir, I can't write an empty article. Oh, no problem. The article about censoring. Um, I think this is gonna be fine. We're not gonna worry about what happens. Send to print. All right, orientation of this week's articles. Pick articles from here and drag them to the empty paper. Okay, this part is about your employees. Sure. Loyalist government to take harder actions against suspected rebels. Public culture bill has passed. Click to turn page. Oh, okay, that is interesting. The way you arrange articles affects how they feel. Okay, this is a very social one with a little bit of crime. And this is how we go between those. Okay, interesting, good, good. To move on to distribution, drag slider to divide your papers between the different districts. Wow, main industries, references, okay. So, societal news, they kind of liked it. So we're gonna put, because it's it has a social focus. Uh, and crime, who liked crime? You guys liked some crime, so... I feel this is a good idea. Um, oh, they actually like both of them, so let's drag it up like this. What about northern suburbs? The upper class district of Westport has very few inhabitants, but those who live there have more money than most people could ever dream of. Well, let's give them something to read about. All right. Let's send it to the stores and let's see how that went. First new paper. Frank, you know, I've never been a big fan of the lawyer's government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I imagined. 
Don't blame the government, blame the yellow journalism and blatant lies that gets published these days. There's nothing good about a misinformed public. Well, yeah, sure, but do you realize how much power this will give them over the media? I have to go with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill would be beneficial for anyone but the government. Some quality control is better than no quality control, and you agree with me, right? Well, I see your point, Phil, but I'm also not sure if this was the best solution. We as a media outlet do have a scary amount of power over people's opinions, but I'm also not sure if giving that power to the government is a great idea either. It's not. Just for the record. Alright, five weeks left. Alrighty then. Sold papers, sold papers. Oh, actually here we're selling quite a lot. Hmm. Rebellious opinions. Illustrates your sales way last week, represents the people of the district. Okay. Yeah, so apparently we didn't really distribute very well here. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinions will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect the people's opinion. Okay, good, good, good. That was interesting. Let's uh, produce the next one. Oh, people's opinion plus two, loyalist suspicion minus two. So they're trusting me. And I guess the rebels like me? I'm, I'm not entirely sure here. Okay, let's uh, go through the articles and see. Oops, sorry, don't write that yet. Okay, new teaching materials in all state schools. The current teaching materials used in schools are outdated and incorrect, says Minister of Education. All teaching materials will be replaced with updated material. All new material will be examined by government officials to make sure this material is proper and relevant. Government to censor teaching materials in state schools. Um, I think we can just write this one. Um, like it is. I mean, yes, they're gonna censor it. Um, if we remove this part... That would reduce the suspense. I'm gonna go with that, and I'm gonna give it to Frank. Or actually, Anne. What about Julie? Julie's more of a rebel. So... I'm gonna give it to Anne. I like this article. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's a socialist article, so that's nice. Movie star arrested for participating in protest. Movie star in. Ooh, wait. Movie star in minor car accident. Are you kidding me? Yes, absolutely. Movie star crashes car, leaves without a scratch. That sounds good. Renowned movie star Harold Finn suffered an accident yesterday evening by crashing his car into a streetlight. The accident resulted in some clients on the car front and streetlights falling down. Mr. Finn was not injured during the accident. I'm gonna cut the middle one out, so it sounds like he crashed into a streetlight, but it was not accident, uh, was not hurt, and the car was a total wreck or something. I like this one, and I'm gonna give that to... Blah, 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 blah. Let's give that to Frank. Frank that rebel. Just so he doesn't read about something too crazy. He can apply his opinion there. For glory of the government. Removal industry moves branch headquarters to Westport. Uh, outsources underdeveloped countries. Man attacks police officer. Northern Herald shuts its doors. What about this? Man attacks police officer. Man defends teenager. Police officer pressed charges. Hmm. A teenager was caught writing anti-governmental message on buildings and fences close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and pushed the teenager to the ground. The preceding arrest was interrupted by a bypasser who tried to pull the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived. The preceding arrest was interrupted by a bypasser who tried to pull... Oh, okay. Man, this is crazy how you can change the whole meaning of this. Man defends teenager police president of press charges. Man attacks police officer. Teenager was caught writing anti-governmental messages on buildings and fences close to Liberty Square. Both the man and teenager were arrested when the office partner arrived. You know what happens if I give this to the super loyalist? Like to Phil, who's a super loyalist. He will probably agree. Okay, we're gonna give that to Julie. Uh, we need one more. Um, industry moves brand's headquarter to Westport. Hmm. <sighs> Outsources to underdeveloped countries. Okay, let's see. Outsources to underdeveloped countries. Abandons Westport to unemployment. Outsources to underdeveloped countries. Good. So we can sell well in Westport. According to a recent report, industrial giant Remival Industries has outsourced all of their production overseas. At the same time, multiple factories in Westport have been shut down. This is in turn has led to unemployment. Like Eastern Factories over the last three years. Okay, good. Uh, I think, Phil, you're gonna write that. It's a pretty... Uh, it's a socialist art, uh, social article. Interesting. I think we're gonna send this now to print. 
very well. Oh, also, wait. No. Um, we're going to have to put it into the Arctic. Okay. Man attacks police officer. I think movie star crashes into 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 car leaves us out of scratch. Very good. After that, man attacks police officer. Um uh, I think after that we should go with hmm unemployment. Unemployment or let me let me let me think for a second. What if I put the unemployment at the first part to sell this thing, especially in uh, Westport. Hmm. Ah, it's fine. We're gonna do the movie star first that sells papers, then the unemployment thing. Maybe the un you know what? We're gonna put the unemployment thing on page two. And we're gonna do the um, man attacks police officer three and teaching materials at the school at the end. Very well. Let's go ahead and send this to the stores. Oh, sorry. Distribution. Uh, we're gonna send this. Oh, I can see down here. Let's put it to the western districts, especially since we have the. I'm gonna lose a lot of papers here. 20% here. Um, 15 here. Eh, 20 here. That's uh, fine. We're gonna do it like this. I like it. Let's send this one to the stores and see how well we're doing. Frank, I'm really disappointed in our editor. Why is that? Criminalizing moral courage while applauding police brutality and oversight. How could I not be? Oh, come on, you're really going to believe that horseshit about the guy being innocent? He was clearly a rebel supporter retaliating against an officer of the law for preventing the spread of their propaganda. Oh, man, okay, Frank is disappointed. I might have to do something about that. You know, I'm not making him too upset. Let's see. All right, Northern, we sold some papers here, some papers here. Would have assumed more in the Western districts, but hey, that's okay. What can we do? So, people's opinion, plus 21, loyalist suspicion. Ha! Huh. You're a little bit suspicious here. All right. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna let Phil. Ooh, that's a letter. What's 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 in the letter? Most respected editor, I'm contracting you, contacting you as the agent of a renowned movie star, Hal Finn. I read one of your articles last week and noticed an error. Mr. Finn did not leave the crash site in question without a scratch. He is not a superhuman, claiming him would be outrageous. In fact, he received bruises on his left knee. It might not affect his ability to walk, but I'm sure it hurts quite a bit. Thank you for your time. Well, it sells better. So you leave me alone. All right. Confidence in the police grows. New statistics claim that the public's confidence in the police has increased during the last few months. This is believed to stem from the recent events where police officers managed to step both a teenager and his adult compliance from vandalizing Liberty Square. Our top priority will always be safety of the public. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. What about law this government to improve education? Value of liberty keeps declining. Movie star invests in fashion line. Fast food chain to make way into Westport custom fight back against contraband. All right, you know what? We're gonna give this to our hater. Loyalist government capitalizes on colleges preventing lower class citizens from getting a proper education. Uh, let's write it differently. Has them proposed new regulations to improve the quality. The regulations will increase the budget for each college, giving them the chance to improve both the environment and educators. To afford this, the government will greatly increase the cost of tuition all over Westport. Uh, let's cut this part out and give it... You know what? Let's leave it in. And let's give it to Frank. Why not? Um, so he can report on that. I, I Maybe that's gonna make him happy. Not. We're gonna not gonna go with the one they capitalize on everyone. New movie featuring renowned movie star upsets the association and respectability of social... S okay, what what would that be? Come on, give me, give me, give me that. Get that, that, that. All right, new movie featuring renowned movie star upsets the association of respectability and social sensibility. New Harold Finn movie shocks public interest groups with vile erotica. Yes, absolutely. Lovers of the Southern Skies featured renowned Harold Finn premiered last week is about a pilot who comes under the care of a local girl after crashing. While mostly praised the RSS Panther film for its mature content, the biggest critique is a swimming scene where it suggested that the characters bathe nude. Hmm. 
I think this is just fine. Yeah, this article is fine. It's just it's it's a nice filler. That's gonna sell a few 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 papers here and there. Uh, let's give that to Anne. Custom fights back against contraband. Oops. Let's see what that one is about. All right, custom fight back against contraband. A huge amount of imported movies was caught. Movies in question were all foreign productions that have never made it to the West Coast movie market. Many of the movies have been deemed to be subversive propaganda by the government. Smuggling is smuggling. These items are illegal for a reason. Said the representative regarding the event last week. Um. Custom government stops imported movies. I think yeah. I mean, that that seems good. Um, I don't know if I want to use it though. It's not the worst. Uh, movie star invests on fashion line. Fast food chain to make way into Westport. Um, custom fight against contraband. Yeah, let's do that. I think. I think. Yeah, Phil can do that. He can read a little bit about his government doing all these things. I mean, he's a loyalist, so if I. Let him write that. That might be a good idea. Alright, Julie. More of a rebel there. Hmm. The value of Liber keeps declining. The national currency Liber keeps on decreasing in value. Last year, the government tried to solve the economic crisis by printing more money to cover expenses. So far, the government's action have only added to the inflation. Inflation sweeps the country, making the Liber close to worthless. Hmm. Well, just let's say it's declining, and that they printed money to solve it. Let's not let's not do p to be too harsh. Uh, most I'm contacting. You. Oh yeah, right. That was the one that we already read. Should should be open or something. And yes, we're gonna deny the article of the clothing line. Confidence in police grows and fast food chain. I don't care about those things. Bring me something saucier. Send it to the print. All right, we're gonna start with. Movie shocks. Yeah, that's gonna sell. Celebrity. That's good. Value of library keeps declining. Custom fight backs against contraband. And loyalist government improve education. Oh, it's a very social thing. Let's distribute it. Um, they seem to be most interested here. The Eastern factories. Um, yeah, let's ramp this up to... And... Question is, do we even need that much? Yeah, that'll work out. Something along those lines. Okay, send to stores. And we're gonna see how well that does. So now they're cramming down propaganda in school. I honestly can't believe this crap. Calm down, Frank. I've seen the books my son brings home from school. They're ancient. They've been due to an update for years. That's not the point. They're outright stating that they will monitor all added content for propriety. Property. It's like they're not even hiding that this is an excuse to cram down loyalist ideology on our kids. Says who? Sure, the government will choose the books, but I trust they will pick whatever they feel is most beneficial for the children's education. Besides, if they're not the ones who is who will, your precious rebels, how about the teachers or the schools? Look, I have to agree with Frank on this point. This sounds like a lot of power being handed to a group who, with all due respect, Phil, haven't shown themselves to be most reliable thus far. All right, I think we might have to... Um, balances out a little bit. They seem to get really upset at my propaganda. I gotta, gotta do a little bit. Well, at first, let's see how much we sold. Eh. Eh. Ooh. Doing really well here. And this was sold out nearly. Yeah. Cool. Very well. Okay. People's opinion plus 14. And just a little bit of suspicion. I like this, actually. I actually, we're... The rebels are gonna like us. I mean, if we can keep this in the middle, that'd be great. Uh, we don't want to make them suspect anything. I think that's the goal here, at least a little bit. We're going to continue this in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. You can download the game yourself, the alpha preview. The link to that is in the description below. Also, make sure to check out Suddenly Ninja. My name is Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.